Kaiser. It's your pal Lance Burke in Las Vegas. You know, many years ago, you taught a young magician named Johnny Thompson. And Johnny Thompson grew up to become one of the world's great magicians. He passed some of that knowledge on to me, and that's the way it's supposed to work, and I want to thank you for doing that. And I want to congratulate you for being honored by the Society of American Magicians. Well deserved. Congratulations, pal. Hi, Harry. It's Ed Brown. I first want to congratulate you on being nominated for an SAM Lifetime Achievement Award, which you certainly deserve. After Jay Marshall introduced us at Ireland's Magic Shop in Chicago in 1960, you became a mentor and a great friend. And over time, our families became great friends as well, spending time at your home in Indianapolis and our home in Champaign, Illinois. After I started writing up some of your routines to show you what they might look like and encourage you to write a book, you instead asked me to keep writing. The result was the feints and temps of Harry Reiser, which led you to writing Secrets of an Escamateur. And these books provide records of much of your amazing magic. And all the while, you were writing your column MUM and doing your big band's radio show. I often heard both magicians and laymen witnessing your magic say, Harry, that's impossible. You didn't do anything. Yes, Harry, your magic just seemed to happen. This is the testament to your flawless sleight of hand, your cunning use of subtleties, your seemingly effortless style, your low-key humor, and your apparently spontaneous pattern. Often when I first thought you were just conversing or telling an interesting story, I eventually realized you were well into the presentation of a trick, and I'm sure many others have shared this experience, another aspect of your incredible misdirection. I really wish I could be there today, but we're up in northern Wisconsin waiting for family to arrive. So I wanted to send this message to congratulate you on your nomination. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the magic. Is it fair? Harry Reiser would ask that a lot. And once I realized I agreed to it, I knew he had me. And I had lunch with Harry for many, many years here in Indianapolis at the Magician's Roundtable. I learned a lot, not only about magic, but also about the history of jazz and big bands. And if there's anybody who deserves to be honored with the SAM, it's Harry Reiser. Thanks for allowing me to be here today, gang. My name is Taylor Martin. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Don Miller. I'm the president of the local assembly of the Society of American Magicians. Our assembly is called the Harry Reiser Assembly. And that's because, well, Harry Reiser's right here in Indiana. And we've been so lucky to have him here with us. A true master of magic. There's not many people who actually knew Di Vernon or Charlie Miller or, well, there's so many other ones that it's hard to think of them all. Harry's books, well, they're wonderful. If you haven't read them, you probably should. And Harry is very giving. He's helped us out in the assembly so many times because after our meetings, he would have a mini lecture and teach us how not only to do magic, but how to do it extremely well. I want to congratulate Harry on being such an integral part of the magic community, both here in Indiana and throughout the world. Harry's an incredible treasure, and I'm so glad that I know him, and I can call him a friend.
Keller, and we're going to talk about Harry Reiser. Now, we always talk about Johnny Thompson. We always say Johnny Thompson's our mentor, the paragon of magic. But Johnny Thompson says that about Harry Reiser. And when Harry Reiser was backstage here, <laughs> he's way better than Johnny. We love Harry Reiser. Close here with all uh, your pals in Toronto at 31 North saying congratulations on your induction in the SAM Hall of Fame. Congratulations! Congratulations! Hey, 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 h